On today's how-to, I'm gonna show you how to organize a junk drawer. It's not gonna to be too hard, so let's go ahead and get started. The first step in organizing your junk drawer is to remove all of the contents and place them on your counter. Now, it's best to go ahead and place all of the items in their own separate categories so that you know what you have. Um, so here we have pencils, pens, and markers, and it's great to go ahead and take this time to test your pens and markers to make sure that they still work. Throw out any that don't. Um, we have our tape. This marker should actually be over here. Um, we have some tools, cards, um, some straws, change. Here we have um, cuticle sticks, which actually belong in my bathroom. So if you have anything that was in your junk drawer that belongs somewhere else, go ahead and take this time and put it in its proper home. We don't wanna put it back in the junk drawer if that's not where it belongs. After you have everything fully categorized and you've thrown all of your trash away, it's time to move, move on to the next step. Next, we're gonna measure our drawer so that we can make sure the products that we buy will fit. So measure your width, your length, and make sure you also measure the height. Products come in different sizes and we wanna make sure that whatever we buy will actually fit. For my drawer, I have selected the Bamboo Drawer Organizers by iDesign and you're gonna need them in multiple sizes depending on your drawer layout and the items that you're organizing. And then to make sure everything stays put, I'm gonna use this museum putty. If you prefer the look of clear or acrylic, you can also use organizers like these. Determining the configuration that will work for both your space and your contents will take some trial and error. I recommend buying just a few extra so that you have some wiggle room to switch things in and out in a couple of different sizes. Here's what's gonna work best for this drawer. And here's our final result. No more junk drawer. I like to call them purposeful drawers. So we purpose this drawer for a little bit of our utilities. So the most commonly used tools we also have batteries, which everyone also needs. Um, these rubber bands we use in multiple ways. I'll have to show you that in another video. I got down to only the pens and pencils that we actually use. Keys, change, cards. I love having all of the cards that aren't in our wallet in this drawer. So if you ever need to search for something, you know exactly where to find it. And then in the back, we have our scissors, tape, and a stapler. Thank you for watching, like, subscribe, share with your friends, and let us know in the comments what you'd like to see us do next.